Hello, this is April with Craft Knife Chronicles, and I'm here to share how I created the die cut panels for the Secret Garden Star book. Now, in the book, there are four different Spellbinders dies that I used. You can see two of them sitting here, and this first one is uh, Botanical Swirls. And the one in the back here is Basic Lattice. And then I have two other ones. And they are Butterfly Magic. And another trellis design that is, let me get it here. Hopefully this shows up on the black background. It's a, this purple one, and that is Grateful Lattice. And these are all uh, Spellbinders Shapeabilities dies, and let me show you how I cut them. So we're going to start with the techniques used to cut Butterfly Magic and Botanical Swirls. The, there's, I used a different technique for these large pattern um, dies than I did for the two lattice cut dies. So we'll start with how to create this panel. Now you can notice that the big difference is that the, the, the large pattern uh, dies I've left a one quarter inch in the middle. Uh, there's a solid piece right here. I don't think it detracts from the design and it gives it more st stability in my opinion. So let's uh, get started on that die. So for a sample I uh, have a piece of white cardstock and it's cut to the size we're going to need in the uh, pattern is seven and a half inches tall by uh, 12 inches wide. And to lay out for the die what we want to do is we've got it folded in half and we'll open it up and we'll mark a one half inch line from the top edge on the left panel. So one half inches pencil line right there. Then I have had the most success when cutting these dies when I use a piece of wax paper behind them. Now you may have, you know, whatever works for you cutting these dies, uh, you know, as far as sandwiches, using wax paper, etc. That's, you know, up to you and your machine. So in order to cut this, what we're going to do is align the top edge of the die with the one half inch pencil line. And then the edge of the die is fitting tight into this fold. We should, when you fold it over, it should be like very tight right in there. So before I put it down, I want to use some blue tape to um, keep it in place. And even though this is low tack tape, I always take it and, and a couple times on my uh, jeans, uh, it seems to remove even more of the tack uh, so that it doesn't pull up the cardstock too much when uh, we go to remove it. Now if a little bit of the cardstock comes up, it's not the end of the world because if you, you might have noticed in the, at the start of the video that there's some pattern paper that goes on top of the cardstock. Uh, to decorate the edges. So I'm just making sure it's tight in that corner and then pressing down on my blue tape. Now the sandwich that I'm going to make and I have a Sizzix Vagabond is I'm using my magnetic platform with a cutting pad. Now this is kind of an older one so that it won't glare. Uh, I, you know you get better success with these dies when you don't have a a, a platform that is all chopped up and then putting that right on there um, and then I'll put a second cutting plate on the top and run it through the machine. So I'll do that and I'll be back. 
So I'm back. I've run this through my machine. Let's see what we've got here. Just open this up and remove the blue tape. I just kind of go slowly from both sides if it's or both sides if it needs it. That one came off pretty cleanly. It sticks down a little bit more once it goes through the machine, of course, because it's had extra pressure on it. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. I removed the wax paper. And then I usually just use uh, an embossing tool to punch out these shapes. Now, on this die, there's a lot of shapes that are still connected on the edges, so uh, not a lot comes out at the beginning. You'll want to be, you know, pay attention to that. There's a lot of shapes that are uh, still connected. That one that I just tried to push, but come through and. Get all of these. It only takes a second, so I'm not going to stop the video, I don't think. We just want to get anything that can fall out out of the way so that it doesn't fall out when we make our second pass, because that's what we're going to do is, is cut this again. So I'm just looking. Here's one more piece there. Everything else is still attached in some way, so I'll get rid of this trash. And I'll, I'm going to clean out my die, and then I'll come back and we'll cut the other side. Okay, I have my uh, die all cleaned out, and so we're ready to cut the mirror image on this side. And so to do that, we're going to fold our piece of cardstock the other direction and we're going to repeat what we did before. We have it open um, and we're going to draw the half inch line up here at the top of the left side panel. And then using a piece of waxed paper in between we're going, going to put our die down to make sure you get it oriented correctly. I can, this one has a large butterfly, so it's, it's, it's really easy to see if you've got it in the right place. Um, get that aligned with the, the top edge, the one half inch, and then we're going to nestle it in just like we did before. Get our blue tape. I just reused the same blue tape because it still has enough tack and I don't want it to have too much tack. Make sure it's where I want it before I stick that down. Looks good. And when you fold it over, you should see that it looks like it's in the, the proper place. You're seeing the same amount of borders around everything. So that's a little check for you. So now we'll just build our sandwich like we did before with a magnetic platform, a cutting pad, the die, and I'll put another cutting plate on here before I run it through. And I'll do that, and I'll be back. Okay, here I am back. Let's see what we've got.
open this up very carefully some things want to get this is stuck on a blue tape for some reason over here but now it's okay and now we'll remove our blue tape carefully off our dye. I'll clean this up and I'll be back. Okay, I've cleaned out all of the, the pieces that come out uh, easily. Many pieces on this particular die are still connected uh, around the edges. So we're going to clean up this die. Let me show you what I mean. By cutting the straight edge that goes uh, around each panel and we're going to cut up the center as well staying an eighth of an inch away from that center fold line. Now before you do that cutting you'll want to come in and uh, with an eraser, a cleaner eraser than this one apparently, and uh, get rid of the, the pencil lines on both sides because once you make that cut uh, it will be uh, more fragile. So in order to make those cuts uh, what I do is I take my ruler which here it is and I look at the pattern and sometimes it, if you're not I have, I have worked with this pattern enough so that I know which ones to cut. If you're, if you're in doubt and once you put the ruler down, sometimes it's hard to see, okay, am I cutting this space or the one next to it? You might want to first look at it and say, oh, yes, I'm, I'm cutting, uh, you know, which space is here. Now here I know I'm cutting these small, small ovals. So, you know, pay attention so that you don't cut ones you don't want to cut but there's you look at the, where the edge of the cutting comes to here and I just put my craft knife right at that mark and then I can see here that on this particular ruler it's it's an inch and seven eighths from the edge and so that way I can keep that line straight and I just come up to the top and start cutting out the pieces that need to be released. I cut them one at a time and I can use the tip of my craft knife to get them out of there or come back at the end and get them. But if you do one at a time then you're uh, and it, because it, it's, it's and you take them out then you can pretty much see you cut and then skip and then cut and skip etc so that you know as you work your way down you um, don't cut things that you you know are meant to stay down here there's just a couple of little ones a little one here centered in this flower Now sometimes pieces don't fall right out, the, like this one down here at the end. You just have to bring your craft knife right into those corners and, and get it out. And so that's, that's the method for cutting edges and you would do that around all four edges. Now in the center, as I said, we're leaving a 1 8 inch kind of bar that comes down there. So line up your ruler along that fold line and if it's difficult to, to see where that that fold line is come and put a couple of of tick marks you know with your pencil so that you have something to line up against and then it's the same procedure that we we just did you know looking at which pieces come out um, and then cutting those and skipping the next ones. Now in this center sometimes I have to look twice to see okay what is coming coming out. 
So give me a moment while I give that the once over here. And I know for for instance down here in this daisy that the or flower that that petal comes out. So you know start with things that you know for sure and then you can do your skipping skipping business as you as you go. So here then there's a piece right there. The little centers in this flower. Coming up here, there's like a large section. A couple of small guys. And one more piece there at the top. do that on the other side and then you end up with your blue panel and I'll show it to you from the reverse here that's what the panel will look like so follow that procedure like I said for butterfly magic and also for the botanical swirls that's this one So to cut the trellis dies, which are this larger format one and this smaller format one, which are great full lattice and basic lattice, I used a slightly different method. You'll notice that there is no central bar in these. That the design appears to be continuous across the fold. So let's see how we can accomplish that. Again we start with our piece of cardstock that was cut to uh, seven and a half inches by twelve inches, scored at the six inch mark, and folded and burnished. Now for this particular die. When we look at the die, and it might be easier to see on, let me show you on this one. The cutting edge stops back even with this kind of 1 8 inch edge that comes down uh, and frames the whole die. It's the same on this this one over here, it's just easier to see on this one. So what we want to do when we align this die is instead of taking the outside edge to the fold, we're going to take the inside of this 1 8 inch uh, line. And we're also going to cut it in the folded position. So right now I have this oriented with my fold on the right. I'm going to take and draw my half inch line on the top again. And uh, let's cut this small one. Sometimes the smaller one, at least for me and my setup, is a little more challenging. So we want to line up the top edge with the one half inch line. That doesn't change from the other one. But when we go to line up the edge along the, the fold line, and I think you can see here that it is past it. And I am using, uh, I can see with this dark colored mat exactly where the edge of those holes are. And that's the edge of my cutting. So I'm going to double check, sorry if my head is getting in here, hopefully not, and put my uh, blue tape down, just same procedure. Oops, I forgot wax paper though. I have learned that I don't want to forget the wax paper. Cut this one off just a little bit. that in there and line that up again. Put 
put my blue tape down. Now to make this sandwich, this is what works on, on my uh, machine, is I'm going to start again with my magnetic platform, my cutting mat. Now I should say that I have enough room to run, there's just enough room to run this through at, because it's now the sandwich is six and an eighth inch wide because the paper as you recall was folded at six inches this is sticking out about an eighth of an inch if your uh, cutting machine is not quite that wide go ahead and trim off whatever's needed from this edge over here that won't be a problem at all so I'm going to put this down on here and before I, uh, I'm going to, before I put my other cutting pad on here, I'm going to put two layers of cardstock. So my sandwich is going to be cutting platform, uh, acrylic uh, cutting pad, my folded cardstock, wax paper, the die, two layers of cardstock, and then my other cutting pad. So let me go and cut that, and I'll be back. I'm back. I did run this through I think three times just to make sure everything was cut as well as I could. Here's my double layer of cardstock I told you I would put on the top. Stuck to the blue tape. And we'll take our sandwich off here and remove our blue tape. I think you can see that a little paper came off with that one. It's not a problem because the frame will cover that up. Now this is a messy die. Now, sometimes you get it cut through to the other side, sometimes uh, you don't. Depends on your machine and uh, and uh, how things how things work. So, uh, again, I'll take my my embossing tool and I'll do I'll remove everything I can and then I'll be back to show you what's next. Okay, so now I've removed all of my detritus. I had to trim away some of the little guys in the center as well. And I did that by turning it on, uh, having it folded, and then just using my craft knife to extend those cuts um, in the center. And then also you want to double check that in any of this uncut portion that there is only one layer of cardstock. Sometimes uh, the little guys from this side get kind of stuck on top of this uncut side. So just use your fingernails or something to scrape on that to make sure you just have one layer of cardstock that, that uh, is sitting there and then you'll be more successful with this next step. So to prepare for this next step, what we want to do is take our uh, cutting die and I have it with the cutting side up and I'm just putting a couple of pieces of blue tape on it. And that one can't be recycled anymore so let me get another piece here. And I'm putting them so that the sticky side is face facing up. So this is the cut cutting side of the die and the sticky sides are facing up. So now I'm laying that down on my table. And the goal here is to nestle the portion that still needs to be cut and try to align it just as perfectly as possible with the, the die so that we don't get double cuts. 
and when you feel that you have that aligned as best as you can then you'll push down on the blue tape to get it secured. Take your time here and that looks pretty good. So I'm, I'm pressing now to secure the blue tape. Well, maybe that piece can't be recycled anymore. We'll see here in a second. So then I'm bringing my magnetic board and my cutting pad over and putting this on. And you probably could work right on here to begin with so that nothing shifts when you're when you move it. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to put my two layers of uh, cardstock in this fold. Now, yes, that doesn't give you a cutting pad to cut against, but these have been already cut partially through. So my experience is that this is sufficient. You may have to experiment some, but this also has the added benefit that if there is um, any, uh, it prevents the this, this second side that did get thoroughly cut from getting a double cut. So we'll just put that in here, fold this on top, and then I will, uh, when I go over to my machine, put my second cutting, cutting pad on top of here and run it through a couple times. So I'll be back when I've accomplished that. So here we are back and let's see how we did. Put this open. Good, I don't see any double cuts over there. This is a good sign. So we'll take this off. Remove our blue tape. Remove our die. Now there may be a couple that, you know, I obviously have a kind of a low spot in my machine here, so um, there may be a couple that I'll have to come after the edges with a exacto knife. If something doesn't come immediately, I don't force it. I don't like to have jagged edges, but hopefully you can see with this strong contrast between the black and the white that I did not get any double cutting. The edges are all still nice and clean even though when we ran it through uh, both both pieces of paper were kind of exposed to the cutting edges. So I think yeah those few little guys I want to come after with my craft knife so I will get that. And that's how you use the die to get a trellis design that spans that center fold. So in the remainders of the, the remaining videos, you'll see how to use these trellises um, in each page of the Secret Garden Star Book. If you have any questions about these techniques or uh, anything with the project, please uh, leave me a comment or send me an email, and I hope you enjoy working on this project. Bye for now.